Hello Navigators, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are gonna be starting a YouTube channel from scratch, including those secret settings that are gonna get you more views, more subscribers, and put you into review a lot faster so when you reach your 1,000 subscribers, uh, 4,000 watch hour requirement, you can automatically go into review and YouTube can jumpstart the review process. Okay, so if your channel looks like this, you have no picture, but you do have a name, which means you set it up through an email address already, you're gonna to wanna to skip ahead a couple of minutes I'll leave timestamps down below. Okay, so in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna select sign in. Okay, so you're gonna come to this screen. We're gonna pretend you're brand new, you don't have an email address, and you're gonna select use another um, email, and then select create account. So for myself means that it's just you. You're probably only gonna do one YouTube channel. You don't have like a management team. You don't have other people accessing your uh, YouTube account. So you're gonna just select for myself. To manage my business means that you have like a team. So you need multiple people to access your account or you're going to create a second account later on. Like I have my personal account and now I have this account. So it's under a business. You can start with for myself, which is what I did and then change it to a brand account later, which was pretty easy to do. But for the sake of today's video to make it simple we're just gonna select for myself now when it comes to the name let's just do test last name ing because we are testing this so we're gonna create a new email address and then let's do test ing 345 password select next now if this email address is already taken which i think is super funny that testing 345 is already taken um they have alternate email addresses you can either keep trying to find one or you could just select one that they've already um offered you and select Select next. Okay, so Google likes to verify that you're a real person, but you're gonna wanna put in your cell phone. You're gonna get a six digit number from your cell phone that you have to put in the code just to verify you're a real person. All right, so once we have us verified, um, you can put your phone number in there optional for like recovery or to set up two-step verification, which I highly recommend. You also could do a recovery email address so if anything ever happened or you forgot your password, it can go to another email address just in case you don't have your phone. But we're just gonna go straight down to birthday. And yes, that is my actual birthday. I am 31. Um, um, okay, so we're gonna go down to privacy and terms and select I agree. I also recommend that you actually read the terms of service if you've never read them before to make sure you're not breaking any rules because you can't get your YouTube channel shut down and we don't want that. Bring you back to the screen, like a little um, icon here with like the first letter of your um, channel name that you chose, but we're gonna refresh because I don't know why it's there. There you go. So then you have this little guy set up and yeah. So that's when we're gonna go to create a channel. Okay, so you're gonna select on get started. You can either use your name or you can use a custom name, but we're just going to do Google because we have it set up through our Gmail account. And then this is where you can upload a profile picture, um, tell viewers about yourself, so add a channel description. Um, you can add links, so like your website link if you have another website, if you have a Facebook setup, a Twitter setup, or an Instagram setup. Um, you can also set this up for later, which we are going to do for the purpose of this video. So we're gonna click on the N. It's an N because the um, name is Navigating YouTube. So your profile picture comes from Google account. Changes may take a few uh, minutes to show on your channel. Also too, if you look on mobile, and like on here, it takes a while for it to just like change across the board. So don't freak out if it doesn't change right away. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and select edit. And then we're going to upload a photo. For on my computer, I'm just gonna upload the photo. Go ahead and double click on that. And then you can go ahead and set it up if you wanted to. So if I wanted to like zoom it in at all, um, but I just like how this is. I already had it set when I took the photo. And we're just going to select done. And then we're just going to select back. Okay, so now you're gonna go over to where it says customize channel. And then this is where you can add your channel art. So to add your channel art, you're gonna go ahead and just select add channel art. And then the same thing. So select a photo from your computer or you can just drag and drop. You can do auto enhance. It kind of just brightens and like adds contrast to your photos, but I edit everything before putting it in there. So I don't need to do that. And then you can go ahead and select Okay, this is like cool. It's official guys. I am officially up there. So this is what it looks like now So we're just gonna go ahead and shoot on over to this about me section over here So this is where you're gonna do a channel description and then this is where you're gonna add links So links are gonna also show up on your YouTube banner So a lot of things people don't realize is you want to add your YouTube channel 
to your YouTube leave. And then if you wanted to add like your Instagram on here, you can do that as well or your other YouTube channel accounts or anything like that. But for right now, I just want to add my YouTube channel because I don't want to take people away from the platform just yet. Okay, so then we're going to just select done. Okay, now the moment you've been waiting for, we're gonna dive into those channel settings. That's really gonna help your channel take off from the start. So you're gonna go to the upper right-hand corner on your profile picture, select YouTube Studio. Okay, so this is your channel dashboard. We are working with the new Creator Studio. I'm pretty sure they got rid of Creator Classics. Okay, so the gear is right here. You're gonna click settings and it's gonna bring you to this little box. So the general settings here is just your default units. This is how you're gonna get paid. So you're gonna wanna make sure this is under your actual dollar amount. So I am in the US, so obviously I want US dollars. And then you wanna go ahead and click your next one, which says channel. So. The basic info, this is very important and a lot of people skip it. These keywords are what your channel's about. Again, you wanna optimize your channel just like you optimize a video because you want your channel to rank in search as well. And then you separate it by um, commas. Um, you can always add these later, but this looks good for now. I don't wanna like keyword stuff or anything like that. I want it to look natural. Okay, but again, you wanna make sure you're on the right country because your country can affect things like monetization. Monetization is not everywhere, unfortunately. And then if you hadn't done everything everything before you can select here to customize your channel but we already did that okay so under advanced settings you'll see audience so here it says do you want to set your channel as made for kids and you're gonna want to make sure you set these correctly because you can get in trouble for it okay so the next one is subscriber count display the number of people subscribed to my channel select that so many people ask should I hide it until I get to a certain number no a lot of people won't subscribe to you if it's hidden or they feel like something fishy is going on they appreciate seeing your growth so definitely do not feel ashamed that you're starting at zero or you only have 100 subscribers or anything like that okay so if you select advanced channel settings here um, it just goes more onto keywords disabled interest based ads which um, I never check that you want to make sure your ads are based on your audience interaction it'll get you more money and um, you can link your AdWords YouTube channel here if you have one of those um, allow my channel to appear in other channels recommendations highly recommend you select that then you can manage your YouTube account here um, this is where you can change status and features on your YouTube account which we're gonna actually want to select because this is where we get to the good stuff you guys so on here it says become a partner through monetization by displaying ads on your YouTube channel you want to select enabled last week it did not say eligible but I did not have my channel set as um, United States so you really want to make sure you have your channel set in your current and correct country so once you select enable it's going to take you to this page here so this says notify me when I'm eligible so definitely click this um, because it'll start to track your channel and it'll help your channel go into review automatically versus waiting and having to come back to this step next thing you want to do is is um, lets you live stream go ahead and enable this and then again I'm in the United States um, how should we deliver the verification code to you so we'll just text verification all right so once you went through that verification process it'll say congratulations your YouTube account is now verified this is very important if you want to live stream now you cannot live stream from your phone until you hit a thousand subscribers but you can still live stream from your desktop if you need to do something like that um, your custom URL is not eligible until you hit a hundred subscribers so I can't do anything on that. Um, we'll have to come back to that in a later video. Content ID appeals. So if someone's like, they try to like do a content claim on you, you can't appeal it yet. Here, if you're ever confused on why, select learn more and it'll take you to exactly why, how to dispute claims and stuff like that. All right, and then channel memberships, um, that I think is unlocked at 50,000 subscribers. Oh, sorry, 30,000 subscribers. Gaming channels is a thousand subscribers. Um, you have to be in the partner program, so you have to be monetized with 4,000 watch hours and you have to maintain those watch hours. So it gives you all the information there. Thing is delete or hide your channel. You don't want to select this because we are setting up a channel. We're not deleting or hiding our channel. And we've already talked about advertising. Uh, make sure that this is not checked. You do not want to disable interest-based ads. Okay, so next thing you're gonna go to branding. So this little box down here gives you a little like subscribe button. So that will appear on the bottom of your screen so people click on it they can easily subscribe from your videos okay and then when doing this I highly recommend keeping it like the YouTube subscribe button so it's easy for people to identify that and then this says end of video custom start time or entire video I select entire video because I just want that to show so at any time in the video they can go ahead and select that feature eligibility so default features are enabled and then features that require phone verification um, are enabled you can go ahead and verify your phone number here from here features eligibility get to status and features 
features so if you want to upgrade or recheck everything okay so for this one we're gonna do upload defaults so I never really select this um, add a title or anything like that I have all of my custom defaults like my description template and things like that saved um, under a different file on my computer and then when it goes to here I put this on private because this will make sure that your video goes to private and not public right away because I like to schedule my videos ahead of time and then if you have like channel tags that you wanted to use over and over again you can select that I usually don't though because each of my videos have different um, tags so I just leave this blank all right and then on there if you go to advanced settings um, this again is just kind of your upload default so when you go to upload your video if you want it set a certain way every single time you know it's not going to change I would definitely um, stick with this so I usually just do standard YouTube license although you can do Creative Commons if you wanted to um, select video language I'm going to put English um, category so like what is my channel about so I'm just going to do how to because I am a how to grow your channel so <laughs> this is how to in style um, and then allow all comments so you can have this for hold potentially inappropriate comments which um I do that one users can view ratings for this video so that just means they can see the likes they can see um, the dislikes they can see how many views you have and things like that a lot of people turn that off if they feel self-conscious about that stuff I don't care it's all engagement if I honestly a lot of times I aim for those dislikes because it means that more than just my friends are watching my videos all right and then the next one is going to be permissions so you can go ahead and manage permissions um, this is just like users so I can change roles invite remote users so this is like who can control my channel but I am just a one-person show so it's just gonna be me um, and this is also where you can delete your account so if you find you're done with YouTube just select that button um, and then community here this is actually a really good tool to use as well so if I wanted to add moderators I can do channels so for example if I wanted my main channel and then you can do any other channels that you would want um, approved users this means that these people can um, skip the review process Hidden users means this person did something and you don't want them shown on your channel. You can hide user. You'll find this a lot like bots and stuff. You can just hide the user and all your bots will go here. Um, blocked words. There's actually a blocked word list. I'll leave that link in the description box below. The last thing I do is block link. Someone comes to my channel and they're like, here's my YouTube channel and they like drop their link. It's going to go to spam and I'm not even going to see it. And that's why I highly suggest not dropping links because it's just unprofessional. Um, nobody likes that and no one's seeing it anyways. So it's just to our spam accounts um, and then for default um, again hold inappropriate um, comments and then comments on discussion tab so that you can do the same thing so either allow all comments but I hold all inappropriate comments as well and then hold potentially inappropriate chat to message for review so that's when you're live streaming they can't just start saying things or dropping things if it's inappropriate it'll be held and then your moderators will have to go and unhide it if they feel so or they could just block the person that is all the settings and we're going to save and we are done you guys all right guys but that is it i hope this video helped you out make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did not know about any of those secret hidden features and let me know in the comments below when you plan to start your channel and for more videos on growing your youtube channel with simple strategies at work make sure to hit that red subscribe button with those bell notifications turned on get out there make some content and let's grow together mm -hmm.